this is new tonight. We have seen several shark sightings like this along the Cape recently. And now researchers are using new technology to track these predators. As WBZ's Bill Shields shows us from the Cape. A few weeks ago, when the first white shark showed up in Cape Cod waters, it surprised no one, especially the state's leading shark expert. Based on what we're seeing and what's been reported to us, we seem to be right on pace, right on schedule what we, with what we've seen in previous years. In the past few summers, Scomal and his team from the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy have tagged 210 great whites. And signs have been posted at most Cape Cod beaches warning visitors about the presence of sharks. National Seashore officials believe people are taking precautions. People are really staying close to shore, and that is, uh, makes me very, very happy to hear that. Our, our outreach is working, and um, behavior, human behavior is changing. Two days ago, a boater in Truro happened across a great white. Oh my God! Look at the size of it. It was a couple of hundred yards offshore. But seashore officials say identification technology is improving, and it's already in the hands of Greg Scomel. We've got six real-time receivers, live receivers, that we're putting out this year. Our first one went out yesterday, and um, we're still configuring it. It is still experimental. When it becomes operational, that real-time detection system will only detect sharks that have been tagged. But it will help answer the burning question, how many other sharks are out there? I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.